graduate supervisor, Robert Peel, was a real scientist. And what that meant was that he conducted himself in a certain way. It wasn't a matter of the things he believed explicitly. It was the, a matter of the way that he conducted himself, let's say, as a laboratory researcher. Okay, so, and that conduct was oriented around a variety of ethical propositions. So um, he was very generous with his ideas. And what that meant was he had a lot of ideas because he would share them with his graduate students, for example, and the undergraduates, and they would respond positively and that would reinforce the mechanism within him that generated ideas, and then ideas would flow forth more abundantly. And so that was part of the scientific ethos, to be generous with ideas. And then the next part of that was, if he published his scientific research papers, he was generous in the credit he gave to his graduate student collaborators, generally listing them as the first author and putting himself in the final place, which is a convention among genuine scientists. And so um, he played fair on the reputational front. And then- I had a supervisor the like that. I yeah, had a well, supervisor a, like that at Cambridge. Yeah, well, it's a great good for it. You can't become a successful scientist. It's very difficult to become a successful scientist without someone like that to apprentice with. Yep. Okay, so then- 